Yes, it is very strange um, that, that she would be in that car, just odd. I mean, remember that that is uh, the Mustang that Brian Laundrie took out to the swamp. Uh, the parents went out and then ended up driving that Mustang back to the house. It was such a, a big part of the case. Um, I mean, I'm, I'm almost like surprised they even still have it, let alone driving it to the deposition right. when you know this is one of the biggest days that the media is covering. The first time the parents yeah. are all together. I mean, thank you. Come on, it's, it's weird. My sentiments exactly, Brian. Thank you. You know that you're under the microscope. You know the history of that Mustang. You know the 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 scrutiny that the media has. And yeah. that was your tone deaf choice. Or was it an F you, I wonder, to the whole process? Yeah. Who knows? Um, talk to me a little bit about the burn after reading letter, because that was sort of the, supp the supposition was that she was going to get questioned about the burn after reading letter. Remind the viewers what it was, what it meant, and why uh, there would need to be questions about it. Yeah, that's one of the very strange parts of all of this. The burn after reading, reading letter is the letter that Roberta Laundry wrote to, to Brian Laundry uh, around the time that he went missing. Uh, she claimed she wrote it a long time before. It was found around the time that he went missing. It was a strange letter. There was this one part where uh, she wrote, if you're in jail, I will bake a cake with a file in it. If you need to dispose of a body, I will show up with a shovel um, and garbage bags. So, so you can imagine when Gabby's parents read that, I mean, it didn't sit well. It was, it was a strange letter. Uh, basically, Roberta Laundrie, she, she texted me or through her attorney a while ago, uh, responding to that letter saying, look, it's not what it seemed like. The letter had absolutely nothing to do with Gabby Petito. It was sort of like these strange inside jokes between me and Brian. Uh, but, but some of that stuff was sort of hard to piece together. I think, you know, taken in context, I get it. I've said the phrase, oh, I know where the bodies are buried. Yeah. I've said that phrase a whole bunch, and I haven't killed or buried anybody. But if I did, that would be in a text somewhere. Uh, however, given in context to what they did, the silence, the profound silence um, over where Gabby was and where Brian was uh, when, when Brian came home, Taken all together, it's a little hard to give the benefit of the, of the doubt. I understand how, how people feel. Real quickly, just to wrap it up, Cassie, Brian Laundrie's sister, I don't see a date for her. I mean, it was very clear. Christopher yesterday, Roberta today. Why, why is there no clear date for Cassie, or, or is there? Well, I haven't seen a clear date either, but we do know that she's going to be giving a deposition, which will be interesting, um, because she was sort of at odds with the family at one point, we know. Remember, they went on that camping trip when Brian Laundrie returned? Mm -hmm without Gabby Petito. So she may have some interesting things to say, and she hasn't spoken out much. So that's one we're gonna, gonna have to keep an eye on. Exact date, we don't know. Trial for the civil case is, what, May, May. Uh, 2024. So yep. it's coming a little quicker than we expected. And who knows if they'll settle or who knows if it'll go to trial. If it does, that's the, that's the public stuff. That's when we get to follow, you know, chapter and verse. Yep. Hey, Brian, thank you, as always. I knew you'd have all the answers, and I love talking to you. Thank you for You this. too. Thanks, Ash. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.